videos, so I've been watching a lot of videos lately um, of this. These people that are pretty much the literally black women for virtually no reason. <laughs> I mean, some of the stuff they're saying is true, but honestly, a lot of it's, it just kind of feels like unnecessary and maybe it's more so they want to put someone in a position to make them feel like less so they can feel like more so they can have control over these women so i have looked up narcissism and it just fit the definition like it fit how they were acting and how they were talking i was kind of surprised because you know, i didn't think that that would be what it was but it is and so now I'm realizing there's a lot of these videos and these channels out here that are basically degrading black women, you know, putting them on this pedestal that's much lower than men. And, you know, as a believer in Christ, I have to say, like, when you start getting into that, thinking that you're above people, it's actually really showing that you're at a pretty low place. And so there was this video that just popped up on YouTube talking about black men don't want black women because they're chubby. And, you know, I think something broken me like okay at this point this is silly like something else is going on it's a spirit and so what I feel like God was telling me was that you don't actually have to wait on a certain type of man of course like if you're a Christian definitely give it a Christian like that's that's it give it a Christian do not give it a secular man or a secular woman but that it was some kind of agenda to break down black women especially and um, that these people are dealing with a huge spirit of narcissism but I've seen you know chubby black women with black men and I've seen chubby black women with white men you know it's not about the weight thing and they're making it about appearance so much when it should be about the heart the mind the soul and the spirit and so you know, I think that's what happened in these relationships with these really amazing couples, even though the black woman is chubby, it's like the man was looking at her for her heart, her mind, her soul, and not necessarily like these conditioned, uh, the conditioning concerning appearance, especially in America, you know, and these have been relationships that have been long lasting relationships and they're happy in them, you know, and that's the thing. A lot of people get in these relationships with whom are their perfect look like I had this thing for Cristiano Ronaldo and so I always wanted a man that was like tall dark handsome soccer player and then I got that and he was anything but handsome his soul was tarnished okay he was evil and so after that I was like maybe I shouldn't date men for that reason so you have these people coming on and they're basically slamming black women you're too chubby you're too dark your hair is too nappy you need to wear weave you don't need to wear weave like putting them in this position in which they feel like they have to do all these things to receive their validation and the thing with that is you are never to seek your validation from a man or a woman you are to seek your validation from god and so that's the reason why these women are so broken because they continually are trying to suit someone outside of that and when they have that kind of control when they can tell you how to dress and what to wear and how to act and you know all these kinds of things which again don't get me wrong some of the stuff that they're saying is true i have dealt with a lot of black women and a lot of them that I've dealt with have had attitudes but you know what I did with those women I started asking them how their day was and they literally started telling me everything that was going on in their lives like well I had this boyfriend and I can't pay him. and you know it's like after you show them that love after and they open up to you then it's like all this stuff that is lifted up off their chest and they feel so much better and now they can interact with you in a way that's healthy so and this is what it was supposed to be you know the marriage between a black woman and a black man just marriage in general you know we were supposed to be able to do that for one another but that got lost um and so it's like both sides are trying to find this and they're not finding it within each other because you got on one side oh black men aren't crap i was a single mom or you know my mom was a single mom and all they do is just want some you know a couple weeks ago i was talking to this black guy i didn't make any passes wasn't trying to be sexy i was treating him with respect and he thought he could just touch my thigh and I was like, bro, don't touch my thigh. Like, that's completely disrespectful, you know? And, um, you know, he seemed offended that I wouldn't let him touch my thigh for some reason. And so, you know, he tried to lie about it, as they always do. <laughs> well, I didn't try to do that. And I got offended because I'm like, well, now you're trying to lie to me. You don't think that I'm good enough to tell the truth. You don't think I'm good enough to treat me with some kind of respect where you don't you know harass me sexually and then you don't think i'm good enough because you won't treat me with enough respect to be truthful when you did something you weren't supposed to 
so um, yeah so we're having those kind of situations in our lives and this does sometimes build itself up to bitterness and so you have a certain perception of black men or white men or whatever the deal is because what you have ran into is just constant disrespect from a certain group of people praise the lord he has delivered me from so much stuff and now i more so look at someone as an individual than anything else and so i can't just be like well all black men are dogs because this one person touched my thigh like that's ridiculous but this is the mentality of a lot of black women and it's a mentality of a lot of black men where they think that all black women are aggressive um, and that aggressiveness usually comes out of having a lack of father figures, of having uh, black men just touch your thighs for no reason, you know, just out of pain and hurt and rejection and that kind of thing. Um, and it's the same thing with men. Like, I've heard black men say, well, you know, this black girl that I thought was cute, she didn't like me because I was wearing Converse. Like, something really stupid. That's something literally someone said. And so... I was like, wow, I didn't realize how often black men were rejected by black women for really stupid reasons. Like, a lot of them were like, well, I was too nerdy, and so I just got with a woman that, you know, accepted me for who I was. And I said, man, that's stupid, because I don't really care, like, if you're nerdy or whatever the deal is. I just want you to treat me with respect. I mean, it's very simple. I don't care if you're nerdy. I don't, I don't care about what your leaning is, type deal. But a lot of people do, and so they end up treating people in a certain way because they don't fit their perfect idea um, of a mate or whatever the deal is and it's no different than this video about no black women are chubby and so we're leaving because honestly like I've seen about I'm in New Orleans and I've seen tons of black women here and I'm like I mean they seem just like average weight you know <laughs> I'm like where are you getting this from you're making it up because you're trying to make excuses to date other people and so you feel like you have to tear you know us down now in order to do that and it's very inappropriate and you're going to pay for it unfortunately so just intriguing things going on right now black women do not worry about what these men are saying about you if you feel like you need to extend your parameters then you need to do that there's other men out here that are going to love you and respect you and you know you might find that you still marry a black man one day i mean i've had dreams about my husband he's going to be black but you don't ever want to be trying to uh be in a position in which you have to have the validation of a man like just remove yourself from that because you are going to forever be trying to please other people in that way um and so you'll never feel comfortable and secure in yourself so you guys just be blessed and have a good one bye